Hello everyone, welcome to your reading. The angels want to bring us some messages that we need to hear right now. Today, for this week, they have special things to say to us, so let's get into it. This is what the angels want you to know, what they think you need to hear. All right, purging process. You may be currently experiencing emotional discomfort that is disrupting your inner peace. Okay, so first and foremost, what they're saying is, you know what, this week, if you are feeling up and down emotionally, you're feeling really stuck, you're feeling scared, it's just kind of this overwhelming energy, you are in the process of purging, okay? And this coincides beautifully with the fact that the sun is about to move into Aries, which is starting off the new zodiac year. Okay, we're also going to have the spring equinox, which is a shift of energy all by itself. And then we're having the eclipses and Mercury's going retrograde. All right, so this is a time of purging, a big release of energy that no longer serves you, that is a silent anchor in your energy field because it's gone all the way to the bottom. And now all this energy is kicking it up to the top so that you can release it. So they're saying, do not freak out, don't worry, right now is a purging period. And look at this, kindred souls. You are currently experiencing many changes in your relationships and friendships. Okay, so they're shifting in relationships that is happening right now as well. And look at 54, five, fives are all about changes, um, challenges that facilitate the change that we need. And false assumptions. Oh, 58, another five. This is simply a misunderstanding. Let go of the need to be right. Okay, so different things you have felt very confused about. You are coming in to deep understanding. All right, and I see a lot of, um, you know, in these two cards, yellow, red, and oranges, which would represent your lower chakras, your root, sacral, and solar plexus, which is about, you know, stability, relationships, empowerment. Okay, so there's a lot of shifting taking place in your lower chakras. You're naturally doing a lot of house cleaning, okay, in that area inner dialogue. In order for things around you to change, you must first change your inner dialogue. Okay, so many of you have been asking the angels, you know, what will it take? What do I need to do? You've been praying and they're coming in strong and saying, what is it that you tell yourself about yourself, about your life, about what could happen? What could be? Is it that you're unconditionally loved and supported by the angels and heaven? Is it that you are strong? You are able? You are capable? You will make it happen? You are a winner. You are a fighter. You are a survivor. Okay, you are a champion. Is that what you're telling yourself? Or is it, um, I can't, I always lose, I feel weak, I feel exhausted, I will never, those things never happen to me. What's that inner dialogue? Be very real and honest with yourself because the angels are helping you purge that negative energy, that negative self-talk that we all do. It's time to rid yourself of that, okay? And through the purging process, you're going to get understanding about certain relationships, about why certain things are happening Angels really trying to lift you up and make you strong. All right, a starry night. We got another five in there. The be the beaming and glistening light from the stars reminds you that there is hope for your future. How beautiful is that? Being the final card out of these. Okay. Yes, the angels are trying to remind you of who and what you are. And they're saying right now, all this shifting and fluctuating energy within is actually a positive thing because you're purging, you're releasing people, situations and things that have hurt you, that have brought you down. Like I said, those silent anchors in your energy field that keep you feeling low. It's time for you 
to rise. Oh my goodness, I love it. Let's pull some more cards. And a lot of healing and balancing again to your root, sacral, and solar plexus chakra. So if you're feeling um, energy movements, you know, from your um, belly button all the way down to your pubic bone, that's why. Angels are saying, trust the process. See, they're answering. Some of you have been saying, what is going on? Why am I feeling this way? And they're answering, saying, trust and look at divine timing. It's time for the purging process for other things that are lined up. And look at that. You are very loved and supported by the angels and heaven. And look at this. Blessings coming in. The way you feel right now, it's going to change. Okay, we're purging, we're releasing, um, and it's, wow, I was going to put the deck down, but um, these, my like thumb grabbed these two cards, and we have signs and new beginnings. Okay, so this is a period of transformation, completion as you purge, okay, which is leading to a new beginning, and you're getting signs. You the angels are sending you information. Be open to receive, but blessings will come in, okay? This is temporary. This too shall pass. This upset, this discomfort within, it's necessary for the purge and the release. Four of Swords, there's healing. It might not feel like that at present, but you are healing. Okay, look at that. New beginning, new start, positive messages coming through. And look at this, Eight of Cups. You're walking away from a lot. Okay, this could be physically, this could be emotionally, this could be mentally, or all of the above. But you're walking away. Why? Because you've gained all there is to gain. Three of Swords, the hurt is not going to last for long, okay? With the healing coming in right here, the hurt isn't going to last for long. And look at this, Five of Wands, and feeling um, pulled in multiple directions within about certain things, okay? You're coming out of that. You're going to walk away from, and yeah, see, because on the bottom, Ace of Pentacles, new beginning. You're going to walk away from ugly things that were said to you, lower vibrational beliefs you've been holding for a while out of, you know, past experiences that um, allowed you to hold on to some fear-based energy. The angels really are working miracles in your life. They, they're trying to help you. It's like no matter what has been said to you, what has been done to you, don't lose sight of yourself. Don't see yourself as small. Don't see that you don't matter, that you have no relevance because you do. And that's why the angels are coming in so strong with this message. They're trying to help you rewrite your thoughts, rewrite what you believe is true for you in the highest possible way. They want to help you reach your highest possible potential. And there is blessings. Trust. It's all about timing. And right now, with all of this shifting of energy, that is a sign in itself that things are changing. Wow. And this flipped and then flipped back over. Ace of Swords. Yes. Things are changing. And some of you, it's like you're finally going to be able to cut some cords. The fighting within yourself, the back and forth within yourself is coming to an end. Oh, 
All right, yeah, you've felt kind of stuck. Things are upside down, but not for long with the hanged man. Because look at what's next, the star, the healing, the light at the end of the tunnel. And justice is next. Two of Pentacles and the Magician. All right. Yeah, and look at on the bottom, Ten of Wands coming to the end. So, angels really want you to know they're answering you. Yes, things look uncertain right now. Yes, things feel all mixed up. Just because that's the way things look and feel doesn't mean that you should verbally attack yourself, okay, um, it, or feel less of yourself. Do not be mean to yourself in any capacity. You're doing better than you realize. You're doing better than you give yourself credit for. And they're saying right now, just start being there for yourself. Self, I love you. Self, thank you for doing the best that you can do in any given moment. You're doing all right. We're going to be okay. Everything's working out. Good things are ahead. I will prevail. I will heal. I will overcome this. Nothing is going to steal my happiness and my joy from me. And then see the progression. You got the starry night where it says... Um, the beaming and glistening light from the stars reminds you that there is hope for your future. And then you have blessings, okay? And you have the magician that's going to overcome the sadness, the um, disconnection within. You know, because sometimes we could be very opposite within ourselves. One moment we feel this way, but then we revert and feel the opposite, right? Things are going to balance. You're purging, remember. And through that purge, you're walking away from everything that holds you down, that holds you back, that does not serve you in a positive capacity. The healing does come in. Trust the journey. And you are so supported. You are not alone. The angels are with you. They want you to know. With that Ace of Swords, remember, Archangel Michael is always with you. Yes, balance will be restored. You've got to trust the process. And see, in time, like things are emerging. Things are coming to life. You see how this is like cartoony? And then this is, you know, a realistic picture. I don't know if you could tell on the camera. But things are emerging things are changing for you and right now you need to kind of be in your own energy in your own space focusing on you focusing on what's best for you and look at that new love coming into your life and this it could be a new love for anything okay it doesn't just have to be about romance and on the bottom we've got this answered prayer some of you an answered prayer is coming through an idea something that you feel very inspired by and with study it's like pursue it further because why that's divine guidance oh my gosh and then miracles coming in as well so know this, sometimes your prayer is answered by the angels giving you a direct answer, a direct path towards what it is that you're asking. You've just got to, you know, follow through on it and maybe learn some new things. But answered prayer and miracle um, coming in along with the blessing, things are coming to life for you and there's new love that's going to fill your heart whether this is a new love for life a new love for self a new love for an animal a new love for a romance it's different for all of you but there's new love that's going to fill your heart things are coming to life for you blessings are coming in you just got to move through the purging process which is necessary to clear the space of the old to make space for the new and it's all about what you're telling yourself. All right. So 
Those are your messages from the angels. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.